I like to go on thinkwiki.org to check up on what kind what kind of uh, properties some ThinkPads have. Um, with with this, it show it, it shows like the um what kind of graphics and stuff they came with. Uh, let's just say, for instance, um, T five hundred on here. It sh it shows you what kind of processors that it has. It also shows you like you know it's kind of like in, you know integrated graphics. Shows that it has switchable graphics also. Um, so there's always that, and then it shows you the different kind of displays. There's also a WXGA option. Shows you the uh, RAM. So always check up on that. Another thing I like to look at is the overview of the laptops. Um, right here I have the uh, overview from the ThinkPad 410, and also shows up for the 410i. Um, this is from Lenovo support site. Uh, it shows you what they come with, uh, you know, stock. So you, you have all that stuff there. It also has the uh, hard drive options. Um, you see the memory, you see the solid state, you see the solid state drives, you see the screens. Ooh, you only have WXGA and WXGA Plus. Shows you the graphics. You have Intel HD uh, graphics, which I have on my unit right now. And then there's also a Quadro one too, which is pretty cool. Shows you the seat, the, you know, the, the drive. So just always look up that stuff. You know, just bef before, you know, when you want to see on your laptop, just to make sure you have everything. And then, if you f if you happen to find a laptop and you want to know what specs are, um, go to, to go to Lenovo support site. Dell has one also, and so does um, so does HP. If you if you look underneath right here, if you see right there, it shows uh, the type number right there. And that's also the, I guess, the serial number. Most importantly, is that is that the uh, you're gonna need to know the type or the product ID. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to know those numbers because that's the one that's gonna say what the machine comes with, you know, from the factory on. Unless the seller uh, refurbished it or put, you know, added, upgraded, uh, downgraded the unit, it's gonna come up like that. So we're just gonna go um, under Lenovo. We're gonna click search by machine type model. So we get an exact, exactly, um, exact, I can't even talk right now. Oh my gosh, I had way too much. So we get the exact specs of the machine. Oh, oh, no results found. Oh, I put, I put the wrong number. <laughs> I put, it's supposed to be an eight. Let's see. There we go. So I recently bought this ThinkPad T410 for under $100. It, I thought I got a great deal. Battery sucks on it. It needs a new battery. Didn't come on it with with a with a uh, uh, what is it called plug also. But for hundred dollars, I couldn't beat it because it came with a WXGA screen. So yeah, I could probably resell this thing for at least one fifty. If I'm really lucky, I can maybe sell it for two hundred, maybe more than that. Um, I think the W500 has a better uh, flip value than this. Anyways, so we have, we have you see all the specs right here. And the cool thing about Lenovo site is that you can also download the, um, so, oh, the downloads are right here. You can also download, you know, all your drivers on here. I normally suggest just getting the ThinkFantage system update on that. Um, I did have an HP uh, 2740p uh, tablet and Using their site just didn't work. I had to get drivers from other sites. It was kind of a pain in the ass. I had a Dell Wi-Fi driver for the to, for it to work, which I thought was funny. Um, so Dell, you know, Dell has their support site also. I heard that they're very good. I haven't, I've yet to have my hands, I yet to put my hands on a Dell yet. I do want to get an E6410. T410 is the you know the competitor of it. And I just saw a good deal on this. The Dell's a little bit pricier, I believe. Anyway, so 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 I'm I'm getting way I'm getting way too too many tangents. So that this is how you would go or buy how what kind of what kind of specs you want to look for. Some some sellers list the the machine type number on their on their uh, machines that they're selling.
So if you happen to get that, search for it so you can find out the specs on there. See if you want to buy it. Also, I forgot to say, um, I don't really get Max. I but I did when I did get my iBook uh, G4. I looked up under um, PowerBookMedic.com. Uh, um, you could search your serial number for the MacBook or the Mac or Apple product, whatever you call it. You could search for it on there. So that's really helpful to see if somebody upgraded the unit or not. So there's that also. Okay, so anyways, now we're going to go to our fourth step, which is... Oh, let me start recording. Now our fourth step is going, is going to be the checking the sold listings. Okay, when you're buying a laptop for the first time, you don't know what you're buying. I mean, I didn't know what I was buying to either. I, I, over, I think I believe I overspent on my on my on my ThinkPad. Let's go ahead and type in eBay. Sing forever. Let's see. Let's go for an X220. Okay, so here we are. We have we have this one for 270. Um, we have this this one's an auction. It still has a couple of days going on. Then we have this this one that's 590. That's weird. Well, it has an i it has an i7 on there, and the other one has just an i5. That's probably a good reason why. We have this other one that that's 439. So you have all these different numbers going on right there. So let's go ahead and check what we got going on. Um, let's go to sold listings. And now we have it sorted. Um, right now I have it sorted for uh, t uh, end date. Or no, the recent first. So there's that. Um, we see this one is an this this is four bids. That's an auction and at one sixty seven. Let's go ahead and just click on it just to see what what, what happened with it. So you see original listing. Can I click on that? Let's see what it says. Blah 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 blah. Integrated graphics, three hundred twenty gigabytes. Nothing really much said. Is this page loading? Maybe this page is not loading. Uh, nothing really. Nothing. Nothing really said. Okay. USB port. Touchpad is worn. Windows 8 installed. Not tablet version. Just notebook. Best keyboard used. Font light. Okay. So the person got. I think a pretty decent deal. Um. They didn't. Looks like they didn't get any. Uh. A, a power cord with it. But they only spent a hundred and sixty seven. And then you have oh that's a touch tablet. That's way different. As you can see, this these two tablets right here, this one has an i5 up front, and this one has an oh man, these are the same spec machines. This is a good example right there. You have that buy it now for four almost four hundred dollars, and then you have the, the bidding for hundred and eighty five. We don't know what the shipping pricing is, but these pretty much look like the same spec. They might have one might have maybe different programs on there. What's that? Is that my? So there's always there's that too. Oh, another thing is that always click uh, laptops and notebooks. I didn't do that. So you see more and more. It looks like the bidding price is is under two hundred dollars. This this one went for two fifteen. It just really depends what 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 the configuration is. This one has a measly 160 gigabyte hard drive. Oh, those all do. The the other one had 320. This one has a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Remember, just because it has a bigger hard drive does not mean it's gonna it's gonna be worth that much more money. Um, hard drives, you know, they fluctuate in price, but if if you're confident with installing your own OS, just maybe buy a bare bones laptop. We have this one right here. It was refurbished, it seemed, for two hundred and four. That's that sounds really good. Oh, we got we got this fire one right here. Ooh boy, four hundred and fifty dollars with an i seven, well spec machine with an SSD, eight hundred gigabytes or eight gigabytes. <laughs> oh, I did not say that. It also comes with a dock too. That's another thing. It came with a dock, so you do not know if your if your uh, x x two twenty is gonna come with a dock or not. So that's always something to look for. Anyways, just looking off of that, we got we got the basic price. Well, some of the basic pricing of the laptops. We saw the high price. We saw some of the low prices. We saw what they bid for. 
So now that gives you a general idea of how much you're going to want to pay. You're not going to want to spend four hundred, you know, six hundred dollars on that thing when we just saw one of those was sold for five hundred. So you have that, and then if you don't want to go with eBay, there I wouldn't suggest Amazon, but um, you could check you could check your local you know your local selling sites. I have we have Craigslist, we have Gumtree, we have a uh, Kijiki or Kijiki, that's the Canada one, and I put Backpage on here. I'm not sure if that's right or not. But check those to see, you know, what 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 they're asking for on their laptop. Just be wary though, because sometimes someone's laptops are really shit because I don't know they might be stolen. So that's the scary part about that. Um, that's kind of the gray area. I mean, kind of scary. Some people, some people, even them, some people are afraid of if there's like a trackers on on their laptops. They might just sell a laptop really cheap because they have all this stuff running in the background. So I would suggest you know installing a different OS on there, installing you know deep using D band, clean it up. There's that too, and there's also just check the uh, check the uh, surp the surplus of uh, uh, sites also. Um, I'm not really sure how many. I don't really look on that. I always look on eBay. This is to get like you know your laptop at the lowest price. Um, Le Lenovo's uh, surplus uh, site or Le Lenovo's whatever it's called clearance site you know when they sell all the stuff in clearance they they sometimes sell a lot times pretty cheap there you get well spec and it comes under warranty also and what i thought that was amazing was that the uh the usb keyboard for the thinkpad it was actually cheaper on lenovo site than on ebay it's because the prices suddenly jumped down out of nowhere so there's always that as well just make sure when when you're buying just to look around and also even if you find the lowest price on that machine just check other other competitors you might i mean you might not like the looks or a certain little feature another another laptop has you know from a different manufacturer but when you buy it at a good price you might not care about you know what you're missing out on